a beautiful day. We're not, we're not scared, are we? Oh, Elvis, you've lost your boot. For staff at the Havens Children's Centre in Gosport, this is what the enjoy and achieve outcome of Every Child Matters is really all about. Okay. Everyone having fun. Of course, as a children's centre, we do keep an eye on national and local authority targets. and We do have clear guidelines, but we also feel that it's not about ticking boxes and it's more about watching how the children are developing and if we've got motivated and happy children and we've got happy, supported families, then we know without ticking those boxes, we are actually achieving our outcomes. He's done really well, and he's yeah. done it really quickly as well, because he enjoys the play. Enjoy and achieve is a lofty ambition and can be difficult to pin down. How can children's centres ensure they deliver it? If you look at the word achieve um, and you think of that as learning, We've tried to look at learning in its absolute broadest sense, and that's from learning the very basic development of a young child through to learning as an adult. And that can be learning a skill, it can be learning to cope with life, learning to like yourself again after a negative experience. So it really is about um, all kinds of learning um, that are meaningful and that are fun. Let's see if we can find some worms underneath the log and we can put them in the mud so they can bury themselves. Come and see. And I think, I think enjoy for us means recognising the uniqueness of every individual. It's recognising that they might have different needs, different learning styles, but actually being able to support them in their own unique way. To help children to be recognised and treated as individuals, staff conduct a home visit before they start in nursery. I'm going to go through all the paperwork and questions and stuff while Jenna's going to sit and play. Because Jenna's <laughs> going to be his key person. OK, so, excellent. Hiya. Um, we've brought lots of things him to do that, obviously, that he'd do in the nursery, yeah. so he can come in and feel comfortable from doing that here. He can oh, then come in the nursery and okay, do it there too. Well, relationships are crucial to, to, to our work and we think the beginning of a relationship with a child and a family starts with a home visit. We want to get to know the context of that child and we want the, the family to know about us as practitioners and as a centre. During the visit, staff start to create a personal file for the child called a learning journey. This file is taken back to the nursery where all of the child's achievements and learning experiences are recorded by the staff, parents or the child until the beginning of primary school. Now, Grace, have a look because I've got some pictures for you to put into your learning journey. Can you see yours? Where's your special card? Well, the learning journey shows um, the journey of, of this particular one. It's all about Grace. It shows where she started, how she's moved on, what her interests are and her development. And it's a really good way to see where we can move her on to and, um, and uh, support her learning. And the most important thing is to take her learning on in things that she really enjoys. We don't, we don't try and get them to do something because we want to or we feel that they should be. It's about where they want to go and getting them driven and uh, to do something. So um, it's very much from the children and that, that works out really well. Have a look and see if you can find some pictures that belong in your file here, look. That is, that's one of the patterns that you made. The files are also used to encourage parents to get involved in their okay? child's learning, promoting well-being in parent and child. So Grace has put lots Brilliant. of extra things in it today, haven't you? She's been really busy. Would you like to take some of these home tonight and, and, and perhaps do some patterns in your garden tonight, Grace? We can do that, not we? Would you like to? Max, are you going to carry these for Grace? If you get a chance to pop your usual lovely comments yeah, in, Jane, that'd be great. Yes, I will. All right then, Grace. Okay. And I'll leave these in your family area for tomorrow. Right. All right, see you tomorrow see what then, we Grace. Can make at home, shall we? we very much believe that every child's learning style is different, um, and every child really requires their own personal curriculum. And I think by providing the kind of environment that we, that we do, um, and looking very much at child initiated learning and children choosing and guiding their own learning, obviously with supportive adults in the background. That means that you know, we are completely inclusive and it is led by the child. We're going out into the Millroom Forest Garden today as a special treat for our family time. 
Have a little rub of your fingers and then smell your fingers. Mm. Oh, I love it too. Mm. Let's go and show <laughs> our friends. Mm. Don't you like that? We all like different things, don't we? Oh, look at this one. Oliver is three years old and has special needs, including cerebral palsy. Oliver and his mum regularly receive specialist support from the Portage Educational Service, based within the Children's Centre. Oh, look. Wow, we've got our posting box. There we go. We're going to put some letters in the box. This is another really good one to be doing with him, is um, putting objects into things. We've done some early peg work with him, which he's really enjoyed. Good boy, let Bev help you. Oh, good boy! In he goes! Yay! Yay! A very important part of supporting a child with special needs is actually looking at the family and the, and the support that the family needs and also the coordination of the services around the child and family. So by having Portage on site, and by having the special advisory teachers in and the educational psychologists, it means that we can provide a package for that child and that family without them having to visit those agencies independently and individually. <laughs> Do you want to brush the baby's hair? Lovely. Do you want to brush Bev's hair? No. <laughs> <laughs> because we've been shown ways of actually working with Oliver and working on skills, not only are we having fun with him, which makes us feel happy that he's happy engaging with us, um, but also it is being shown ways of working with Oliver means that we are getting the reward of seeing Oliver developing as you would see another child develop, not necessarily at the same speed or in the same way, um, but it's the same feeling for us. In fact, I believe it's probably a greater feeling for us to see even something like Oliver pick up a cup on his own for the first time, which he wasn't doing before he came here. And to see your child do something that you thought perhaps they might never do um, means an awful lot. The well-being of parents is an essential platform for children to enjoy and achieve. Staff at the Children's Centre try to ensure that this isn't forgotten. Nice single file. One behind the other, guys. Let's go. Well, we want parents to enjoy their children but I think they'll enjoy their children a lot better if they're actually happy and comfortable within themselves, which is why we provide some services just for the parents. One of the groups which is particularly popular and which is um, actually delivered by a beautician who comes into the centre is called Time For Me, and that's all about raising self-esteem and actually giving some time for parents to themselves. Over the previous few weeks, we've done quite a lot sort of on our self-esteem and our positive self-image, um, and we've looked after our sort of like mind, etc. and we're going to look at our bodies as well. What are our healthy habits? Housework. Yep, housework. That's going to be quite a good one because that's going to keep you quite fit and active. Any sort of pampering. Yeah, lovely, pampering. And if our budget doesn't include that someone can do that for us, we've now got the skills to do it for ourselves because we've done quite a lot of that, haven't we? Here? Chocolate facials. Chocolate facials every week, how lovely. Teenage motherhood can, in some cases, negatively affect a child's potential. To help build parental well-being, the centre also runs an accredited course called Twin Tracks, aimed at helping teenage parents to get into training or employment. Hello everybody and welcome. We're going to do a bit of baby massage today. Um, I'm just going to give you all a handout. The parents we focus on are age 16 to 19. Um, they might be people who have really struggled at school. They come to us for th four hours a week, um, the local secondary college for four hours a week. Um, and four hours with the local training provider and um, they cover many things and here we sort of cover parenting and lots of things around sensory play, baby massage, scrapbooking. They, they also do uh, adult time which is um, specifically just for them and they can do things they're really interested in. Right now the children are in the creche and they're being looked after in there so now we can get on and make some lovely play-doh for you to play with your children with. It's not necessarily just about getting the qualification, it's really important they're doing something they enjoy um, and their children are happy. All right, with that, we put one cup of salt. So if you be careful. How much? One cup. That's why it's, you don't uh, let your children eat it, because it is very, very salty. In addition to the family's well-being, 
The Children's Centre places a high priority on the staffs. It's really important for the success of the centre and to make sure our children and parents enjoy and achieve, that the, the staff team enjoy and achieve. Michelle Holmes came to the centre originally as a parent five years ago. She now works as an early years practitioner within the nursery and is being supported to do an MVQ in early years. As part of Michelle's qualification, her mentor Julie Caldwell meets to give her feedback on a previous observation. There was lovely, lovely interaction there with you and the children and you can obviously see you've got a real close relationship with the children in your family group because they were often coming over for a cuddle or a little bit of reassurance from you. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted a job, I didn't want to just be mum, stuck at home, I wanted a purpose and uh, just by speaking to the people at the Haven suddenly I realised that actually I could change where I was going. I got a job here which obviously I love, you know I've changed my life around and all of a sudden I've got you know a purpose in life again. Don't get me wrong I love being mum, love being a wife but you know some of it's about me now. Would have put Michelle is also receiving specialist training to ensure yeah, that children with complex health start. needs can enjoy She's and achieve. On the next turn, get some more Today, Michelle's working with Finn, who's on the autistic spectrum, to improve his speech and language. Right, Naomi, I've done picture exchange communication systems with the I want, but I haven't done the I, I can see. Okay. So I've never seen this sort of well, materials pe before. Uh, Finn's actually very quite advanced with the pecs, so he, he's actually starting to put sentences together. Okay. And when he, he's done this before, he would have put, I see a red pig. What we're trying to introduce to him today is the actual the concept of a big red pig. Hi, Finn. Yeah. Sitting. What do you see, Finn? Looking. What do you see? I see big red pig. Good talking. I just can't believe that. I cannot believe how well he did and how much speech he's got. He's used big and little before in fixed structured folders but he's never used it as part of a peck system. I just couldn't believe it. I felt like crying. I really did. A lot of the time you get given a whole group of children and they are all individuals, they all have different needs. And if I came in just as a mum without the training that I receive, then I would not know how to reach each one of those children, whereas now I feel confident that I can. There are constant challenges. Every day there's a different challenge, a different barrier. But I think because of the passion that we have, because of the belief that this is right, this is right for children and it's right for families, that gives us the strength to overcome those barriers and those challenges. Um, and we listen and we talk and we reflect and then we listen again um, and it's tiring but it's worth every single minute.